Hello, hello. Hey, I want to talk to you today about setting goals, um, putting a system in place in affirmations. This is Cynthia Scott with Cynthia Scott Business Academy. You know, in business, there is off, often a fixation on setting goals. Hey, <laughs> I was one of those girls that I focus on my goals and only. And, and to be honest with you, I seem not to get much done. But when you are constantly focused on your goals, one or two things are going to happen. And most of the time, both things are going to happen. One, your subconsciousness mind is going to keep telling you daily that you, you aren't there, that you, you aren't good enough, okay? That you haven't met that number, the 100 followers or the million dollar book of business, you know, that six-figure income that everyone talks about. The numbers are controlling you and it's causing anxiety in your current life. And number two, the more you focus on goals, the more you're watching to see how it comes out. And when the goal doesn't come out the way that you want it, you know, you get depressed, you're stressed out. And, you know, and some of us have the nerve to call ourselves failures because the goal didn't come out. You know, goals are great. And I'm not saying kick your goals in the trash by any means, but when you do not have a system in place, a system that gets you where you want to be, you seem to struggle more. Now, I didn't say that there would be no struggles with a system, but surely if you put one in place, it can make the process easier. Now, I think goals are potentials rather than the definition of success. And sometimes we, 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 we mark our goals by this um, as being successful, you know, but we should focus on our systems rather than the goals. And you will find that this will create better results. Um, design a daily system that turns your possibilities into probabilities, okay? I believe that this is why we have so many I wanna's and I'm gonna, I wish, I've thought about because we do not have a system in place. Let's give a few examples of goals and how you would set a system for that. Now, a goal. I want to lose 10 pounds in the next 10 days. Now, you know, if you want to do that in the next 10 days, the system, the system would be, I will walk every day for 30 minutes. Eat healthier. Drink more water. Okay? Now, another goal is I want to, I want to own a business. Well, the system would say start finding out more information on your subject. Take a class. Get help from a business coach. Okay? Another goal is to um, get um, 100 more followers. The system says create more content. Okay? You want 15 more clients per week. You got to talk to 15 more people. Okay? Now, let's talk about affirmations, affirmations for a minute. First, let me tell you that I love... I love affirmations, thinking positive, believing, nothing but the best, manifesting, all of that. But what good is it if you don't have a system in place to get the things done? Now, it's not going to fall out of the sky. Trust me, it's not going to fall out of the sky. Okay, I'm going to be a millionaire. Okay, now what are you going to do to become the millionaire? To become the millionaire, okay? You need a system in place. Then if you don't have a system in place and you lose it, you're going to be testifying that I was a millionaire. So no system in place to get the millions and no system in place to keep it. What would you do with it? No structure. You would not have it long, okay? Have you ever seen a lottery winner um, win millions and lose it or spend it all less than one, two, three years? For me, I can't imagine throwing away um, one meal in one, two, three years because my system would say to invest, to save, assist others. But why does this happen? Because there is no system in place, no plans for the money. So what do you do? You spend it because there is no assigned place for that money to go. Now, I currently work by systems not my goals. I still keep my goals written down, but that's not my starting point. I put my system in place to reach my goals. So 
for your next project. Get your system in place. Okay? Even the word of God, it, it tells us the benefits of having a plan, having a system. Now, affirmations, you know, they make you feel good, but we have to put action with it. We have to. Yes, affirmations are good. Voicing the end in mind, and that's okay. We know what we want the end to look like, but what do, how do we get there? You may say you want to make five, ten thousand dollars per month. I want to have a thousand followers. Um, I have ten thousand. I am a millionaire, but not with not without a real process in place. Okay, so focus on your systems to meet your goals. The system is what you want to fo focus on. So, what system are you on? This is Cynthia Scott with Cynthia Scott Business Academy, where we bring you clarity, information, and education. Systematize your goals. Peace.